Let's talk about one of the most powerful mass influence methods ever. I wanted to say weapons, but that just sounds weird. I don't want to weaponize this kind of thing. You know, technique, strategy, tactic. How about that? Anyway, before I tell you about this, I want to to warn you, this cannot be faked. At least I don't think it is. I've never tried to fake it. My guess is if that you were to try to fake it, you might get away with it in the short term, and then you would end up miserable because you would have to be faking something forever, and that would not be fun whatsoever. So the tactic is called values, plural, matching, okay? And so there's a difference between value and values. Value is like, oh, this was a valuable experience for me. I got value from this content. I got value from this product. Values is more of a psychological thing. What beliefs and behaviors does someone hold dear? Their personal values, right? God, country, family, etc. values. So values matching is extremely powerful. Here's what I mean. We are extremely and magnetically attracted to other people who share our values. So much so that we band together with people who share our values and create nations, political parties, religions, etc. The sharing of values among people is a very powerful thread that bonds people together. When you are able to demonstrate that you share the same values as your prospect, they are way more likely to pay attention to you and to want to do business with you. Again, I plead, please don't try to reverse engineer this and fake it. It's not going to work, right? No, I'm not saying that because I think that you would. I'm saying this as just a general disclaimer to hopefully save someone from an unpleasant experience. I want to prove to you how powerfully this works, all right? Crazy about Dwayne Johnson, personally. Love the guy. Never met him, right? I have no idea what he's like in real life, but just absolutely crazy about Dwayne Johnson. Why? Because we have what I believe to be very similar values, right? Dwayne Johnson's all about personal responsibility. He's all about hard work. He's all about contribution. He's all about kindness. I like that. I hold those values to be dear as well. Because of this, I will go see any movie that's got The Rock in it. Even The Tooth Fairy. I like that movie. I thought it was a good movie. I've watched it a gazillion times with my kids. Good movie. What can I tell you? I like it. Right? I'll go see anything with Dwayne Johnson in it. Love it. I bought the, what do you call them? The Under Armour in-ear earbuds like a year or so ago when they came out, which are exactly like the other Under Armour earbud earbuds, except I bought the ones that had the Rocks logo on it because I like the Rock, and I might have even paid more for them. But when I was, like, Googling them, which is a really weird use of time because, like, who cares? It's not like they're super expensive, but whatever. I was dorking out, you know? I can't hear anyway. I don't know why I'm dorking out on audio equipment. It all sounds muffled to me. But um, you know, I'm like, wait a minute. These are literally the exact same thing as the other ones that don't have the Rocks logo on it. But I am knowingly going to pay a little bit extra because I'm crazy about Dwayne Johnson. Right? So if you look at Dwayne Johnson just in general... Let's look at all the stuff this guy is involved in and everything that he sells and or endorses. I mean, obviously, there's movies. Now, there's the Terramana tequila, which I'm not a tequila guy, so I don't drink it. But if I was into tequila, I would buy it because it's Dwayne Johnson. I'm crazy about Dwayne Johnson. Similar values. So you got movies and tequila, totally unrelated. Then you have a new health drink, which could not be more unrelated to tequila. He's also a brand ambassador for Voss Water, which, got to tell you, if you get it out of the glass bottle, if you can find that, put it in the fridge, like a cold Voss water from that glass bottle. Maybe psychological. I don't know, man. But it's pretty good. All right. So movies, liquor, water, health drink, sports attire, 
through the Under Armour deal and headphones. I'm probably missing something. None of that stuff is related, but it still works. He's still able to, to sell it and influence people to buy it because of values matching. That is why Dwayne Johnson is so popular, is because he does a fantastic job of values matching on a mass scale. When we, you and I, reinforce someone else's values and make them feel good about having those values, we provide value to them. Now, I know it's kind of weird because I'm saying values and value like a lot, so it's, you know, easy to get confusing. But here's what I mean. If someone values personal responsibility, patriotism, hard work, etc., and then they have someone else reinforce those values going, yeah, man, I'm about that too, and that's awesome, and you're right for having those values, it makes the person on the receiving end of that feel good. And it makes their values become even stronger, even if just for a minute. And that is a valuable experience to them. And then if we start to reverse engineer what builds a successful brand, it is value. It is delivering value to your target audience. That's what bonds people to us ultimately is the value we get. You know, the magic equation of a brand is essentially goodwill right, which is created from delivering value, times volume, which is the amount of people you're able to do that to. So I want you to think about that. I I want you to think about what values you hold dear that might also be held dear by your target market. Make a list of them and then start demonstrating those values to create some value matching in your content. Again, please, I know you wouldn't, but maybe if there's someone listening in behind you, you know, like that weird person behind you on the treadmill at the gym right now, if they've hacked into your Bluetooth headphones somehow and they're listening to this, don't fake it. Can't fake it. It would be terrible. Imagine that, trying to pretend you're to be something you're not forever for your brand. Ew, you know? Anyway, that's a tip for you. It has helped me a lot. So go forth and prosper. To quote... Star Trek, I think. (laughs) Thanks so much for listening, man. Hope you have a good day. Take it easy.